just so applicable to anything. It's, it's a good base for just being a more humanly aware person. science background and that I'll come out with it. But after doing some of the, um, the gen eds that I took, it made me really interested in anthropology and cultural work, so I decided to go into that. Um, right now, psychology, sociology, and uh, gender women's studies. I like working with people and I want to like, help people. I've always been interested in that. I'm strongly considering international studies, um, possibly political science, but other than that, I'm only really considering a minor in Italian. I'm taking a class, a political science class, and what I like it, so I might consider that. I'm very interested in how the human uh, interaction has developed, how it's proceeded, and how people kind of uh, understand each other, and through that understanding of each other, understand how to identify themselves. I'm still considering either math or physics. Well, I came in as a biology major, but I'm trying to switch to psychology. I think the most important thing is like, what's to come, like what the major will lead you into and once college is over with, obviously because you're going to school to you know, get a good job, and so that's like what's also important, but then also like something that you really enjoy. Okay, I'm thinking anthropology. Okay. But my mom is complaining about what jobs can you find with that. More and more cultural anthropologists are working in urban settings. Uh, my science students really loved reading on the effects of the internet on our lives by an anthropologist. I like to encourage students to talk to me um, to not really put blinders on about one subject that they're interested in. Um, and if, if there are other sideline interests, um, pursue that. When I was a biology student here, from almost the very beginning, one of my other major interests was classic sin. And I actually minored in classic sin. It's kind of cheesy, but like the one course can really kind of make a difference. Yeah, yeah the LAS background, you're not so technical, but you can actually communicate with people. Yeah. And I've actually been told that that's a big benefit. I wish I could tell you that I had a plan. I, when I started, I had a plan, but I clearly didn't follow that. And my degree is in geology, but the field that I was actually working in is civil engineering. All the things that you need is a basic foundation that you learn in the College of LAS. I'm looking forward to taking the people that I've met and becoming real 
friends, genuine friends, throughout all the different activities that are offered.